Hey, everybody, welcome back to part four of Let's Play Devil May Cry. And this Let's Play is brought to you by MunchGames.ca. Ryan here with you. Okay. Oh, shit. See, I don't like that angle. Because now, I missed the door to go through. I think if I go through this door and go back out, he actually goes away. If I'm correct. So in yeah, these guys come back, but I don't mind them. I'm gonna do missions four and five in the same video because five is actually very actually this one's not long either. To be honest, but five is really short. If I do five by itself, it's probably gonna be less than three minutes. <laughs> so it's just easier to do them both together. So yeah, today's April fourteenth. Yesterday was Friday the thirteenth, people. And I was off early. And I came home and I did not even record any well I had to I forgot to edit a video to put up for yesterday and I was too new, so that's why I was late yesterday when I went up at three thirty Eastern. Uh, but yeah. No. Oh. Yes. That's I upgraded my sword by the way, so now I can do like that attack and an air attack. That is much stronger and it's faster. Uh, right now it's a Saturday night, so I'm not hanging out with Colin and Colette again this week. Uh, but that's because something else came up with came up for them, I guess. Not going into details. Um, so yeah, it's a Saturday night. Uh, um, it's around 6 p.m. So I'm going to record a couple of videos of this, like Mission 4 and 5. And then I'm going to watch a movie I haven't seen yet, which is Thor Ragnarok. Um, and then by the time that's over, I'm going to edit some Final Fantasy VIII. While watching probably a Simpsons Marathon that's out on, or, um, what's it called, uh, Hockey NHL Playoffs. But anyway, uh, okay, you know, we always seem to know. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Oh. Oh, that's cool. I think it was actually go up the steps, but I'm going to... Okay. Yeah. We're going to find out there. People making noise up there. <laughs> yeah, so. Sorry, this past week there was no Devil May Cry, it was all Duke Newton's, and then we got a chance to record any. Um. But now we got a chance to. record. Uh. So, yeah, and I picked up a, cool, a few cool trinkets today when I was over at a used game store that I mentioned many times in my videos um, at his attic. So, I picked up two, three games, and a little console actually. And one of the games goes with that console. Um, pictures are going to be on Twitter, actually, before you even see this video. So, uh, check out my Twitter. Um, but yeah, I'll tell you what they are. One of them is a PlayStation 1 game. Um, is by IDOS, you know, who originally made Tomb Raider, which is now owned by Square Enix. I do, yeah, Square Enix, that's how they make the Tomb Raider games. Uh, it's a mature game, and it was brought in violence, and it made on suggested themes. Uh, it's a pretty good game. There was a sequel as well, and that game, is, and it's four discs, so that game was actually called Fear Effect. So I may be doing an LP in the future of the Effect. Um, it's a game that I played a lot. Uh, it's in pretty damn good condition actually. Uh, the game, and then actually in the case, it actually mentions to in the last revelation. <laughs> you know, because I promote their own series, the games, because it's made by the same company who made it at the time. 
Um, but yeah, it's four desk pins with the instruction manual. Um, actually, one of my and is that he was actually surprised with four discs. He's like, I didn't think that game was four discs, but he said it is a good game. Like, yeah, he thought it was three episodes. I was like, no, it's four. Um, another game I picked up. Oh yeah, let's do this because we gotta get on this. That door in the corner. We'll worry about that. That actually has something to do with Mission Five. Um, spoiler alert, Mission Five. So let's get this sword. This is called Death Sentence. The other one thing I got, and it came with the instruction manual as well, and it's a GameCube game, and I've never played it before. I played the previous one, actually, and let's play it last year, I think. Yeah, I think it was last year. Uh, Wayway 64, well, there was a sequel called Wayways and Blue Swarm. I've been looking everywhere for that game, because I always wanted to give it a try. I've never ever played it before, even when it first came back out in like 2001, I think it was. Yeah, it was 2001. Never played it. And I'm always looking for it. Every time I went over there, he never had it. And I happened, I saw that. Look at his GameCube game in first, and I saw a lot of cool games there. Some of them I already had. Yeah. There's all games like. Uh, what was it? Twilight Princess was there. And the Collector's one that I have. And he had like. The Mega Man X series. I'm actually right under the Mega Man X. Uh, so it was like the anniversary collection or something. The Mega Man, one of the main guys, there was a couple of it, I looked directly under it. And I thought to myself, is that what I think it is? Because I saw the word wave, and I was like, is that what I think it is? And it showed up and it said wave, wave, blue storm. I was like, oh my god, wave, wave, blue storm. Anyway, Dante. We're going to meet Dante. Who are we? Mail match. So yeah, uh, this is interesting. Okay, uh, he just happened. Oh, looks pretty damn. He looks cool. This stinking hole was the last place I thought I'd find anyone. Hmm. Yeah. So. Oh, and the other two thing I got, and it's kind of wear and tear. It does have a few, quite a few sc scratches on it. Um, but uh, I've always kind of wanted to get one. I got the Game Boy Advance SP Sumo Edition, and I managed to also get a copy of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga for that. Um, because it's a really good game. Um, so yeah, I got the Game Boy Advance SP as well, and the charger, of course, came with it. Um, but yeah. So, um, where am I supposed to go? Oh, okay, I think I'm supposed to draw. Yeah, okay, I'm supposed to drop down here, that's fine. Because we got this bastard. <laughs> oh, you want to teleport, do you? Oh, that hurt. Come on. Huh. I'm going to teleport up there. Alright. Uh huh, dodge your attack. It's actually not that bad. Oh, cool, multiple stabs. That is so cool.
Energy ball? Or like, like Goku all of a sudden, like Kamehameha? Actually, no, that's, that would not be a Kamehameha, that would just be like an Asian, but like a little energy shock. Oh, okay. We can get up there, that's not hard. Uh... By the way, it's pretty windy out, so you might be hearing the wind. Uh, hello? Oh, there we go. I could just go into like the devil mode and like, oh, I'm gonna use a vital star. Kind of heal up a bit or heal. Oh, energy bursts. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> gunshot, yeah. Shotgun. For the win. Yep, shotgun for the win. Hmm. I'm definitely gonna watch some in a minute time because I just took a look a few minutes ago before I started this video. And one of the episodes coming up is the Dental Plan episode. And I love the Dental Plan episode. It's from like the early 90s, like, Dental Plan! Lisa needs voices! Dental Plan! Like Homer's thinking that in his mind, and then like Lenny and Carl, or Carl. Anyway. His book, a homeless book back is shown, and he drops a, someone drops a pencil, and he's like, Thanks a lot, Carl, you made me lose my train of thought. And he goes back and he's like, Dental plan, Lisa needs poisons. And then he's like, Wait a minute, if we give up a dental plan, I'll have to pay for Lisa's voices. It's like, Yeah, genius. <laughs> okay, so, we're gonna go on, I'm gonna save. Yeah, I put it on easy mode because that last boss before this level, the spot, Give me a hard time and I don't